Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful Tunisian crochet scarf. It was so much fun to crochet and the yarn I'm using makes this beautiful effect and I just really, really love it. It's super soft and I hope you can see the stitches and the color in the camera. It's so much fun to crochet and I'm sure you will love it too. And now I will show you what we need and how to crochet this beautiful scarf. Today I'm using an eight millimeter Tunisian crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and the yarn I'm using today is Kinko Safari Chunky. And I really, really love working with this yarn. This is my favorite color. I hope you can see the beautiful colors here in the camera. They have them in so many beautiful shades, but this is my favorite. And I needed a whole skein, so it's roughly 311 yards, and this is 100% premium acrylic yarn. It's so, so soft, and I really love working with this yarn. Like I said, I need one skein for my scarf. If you want it wider and even longer, you will need Two. And for the tassels, I'm going to use a black acrylic yarn. I thought this would look really good together. And I will put the link for the yarn down below. And now let's get started. We will start with a slip knot. And for my scarf, I'm going to crochet 22 chains. So grab the yarn and pull through. You don't have to watch out for multiple or anything like that. You just keep crocheting your chains until you have um, the desired width of your scarf. If you want it wider, you can keep crocheting more chains, but I'm going to crochet 22 chains. For the first row, we will work in the simple stitch. So we will, you have the first loop on your hook. Now you'll go into the next stitch, grab the yarn and pull up. Go into the next stitch, grab the yarn and pull up. And this is all you have to do for the first row. When you start it with 22 chains, at the end of this row, you will have 22 loops on your hook. So this is how you double check if your stitch count is still right. So this is all you have to do. Just insert, grab the yarn and pull up. And I will see you at the end of this row. I just finished my first row. And now we will do the back row, which is always the same. So you will grab the yarn and only go through the first loop. This will be our border stitch. So you will always go through the first loop. Now grab the yarn and pull through two loops. Grab the yarn, pull through two. And you will grab the yarn and pull through two all the way until you have one loop left on your hook. Grab the yarn, pull through two, grab the yarn, pull through two. All the way until you have two loops, uh, one loop left. I will crochet this with you. So pull through two, pull through two, all the way along. So I have two loops left and now I will grab the yarn again and pull through two. And this, we have one stitch left on our hook. For the next row, we will be working in the loops here in front. This is how you work in Tunisian crochet. The very first stitch right here, you will always skip. This is our border stitch. So you will go into the next stitch, 
and work a simple stitch. So you just insert from the right to the left through the loop, grab the yarn and pull up. We will be using the simple stitch and the purl stitch. So for the purl stitch, grab the yarn in front, just like this. You can hold this with your finger, go again to the next stitch from the right to the left. Now let the yarn go, pull it to the left, grab the yarn and pull through. This is our purl stitch. In the next stitch, work a simple stitch and now again a purl stitch. So put the yarn to the front, hold it, go with your hook from the right to the left. Now let go, pull it to the left, grab the yarn and finish your purl stitch. And this is our repeat. So the next one is a simple stitch and now again a purl stitch. Yarn to the front, go through the next stitch, pull to the left, grab the yarn and pull through. And this is our repeat. One simple stitch, one purl stitch, one simple stitch and again one and you will repeat this all the way until you get to your last stitch right here. I'm almost to the end of my row. Here is the last stitch. I'm going to work my purl stitch and now we are here at the border. So you will insert your hook through the last stitch. Just always make sure you have the two loops on your hook. I know it's with the black yarn but you're not going to finish up like this through one loop. You will always go through and make sure you have two loops on the hook. Now you will grab the yarn and pull up. And now it's time for the back row again. This one is always the same. You will grab the yarn, only go through the first loop. This will create a nice border and now grab the yarn, pull through two. Grab the yarn, pull through two, pull through two all the way until you have one loop left on your hook. So keep pulling through two, pull through two, all the way to the end. Here we have two loops left. Again, grab the yarn and pull through two. And we have one loop left. For the next row, it's just important that you see which stitch is the simple stitch and which one is the purl stitch. It's super, super easy. Like you can see, this big stitch here is a simple stitch. Here you can see this little knot this means this is a purl stitch and we always um, crochet simple stitch, purl stitch, simple stitch, purl stitch. But like I said, you can see it always with this little knot in front. This means this is a purl stitch and this stitch is a simple stitch. And now, like I said, here in the very first one, we will always skip. Here we can see it's a simple stitch, so we are going to crochet a purl stitch, purl stitch. So just the opposite. So yarn to the front, go to the simple stitch on the previous row and work your purl stitch. The next stitch right here, you can see this little knot, it's a purl stitch. So we are going to do a simple stitch. The next one is a simple stitch, so we are going to crochet a purl stitch. So yarn to the front, pull through, and work your purl stitch. 
Here again, you can see this little knot. This means it's a purl stitch. So we are going to crochet a simple stitch. And this is all you have to do. So when you see a purl stitch with a little knot in front, you will crochet a simple stitch. If you see the simple stitch, you will crochet a purl stitch. So keep repeating this all the way until you reach your last stitch. I'm here at the end of my row and now you can see the stitch even better. So this is our last stitch right here, our border stitch. So you will always insert, pull through and make sure you have the two loops on your hook. This will create a nice border. Then grab the yarn and pull up. And now it's important again, um, like I said, the back row is always the same. So you will grab the yarn and only go through the first loop. This is our border stitch. And now you will grab the yarn and pull through two all the way until you have one loop left on your hook. So pull through two all the way until you have one loop left. Just like that. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And this is our repeat. Like I said, the very first stitch we will always skip. And now it's important again, to see the stitches. So here you can see this little knot, means it's a purl stitch. So we are going to crochet a simple stitch. Here you see the simple stitch, so we will work a purl stitch. Again, here you see the little knot, so this is a purl stitch. And now we will crochet a simple stitch. And this is the whole pattern. You will always crochet the opposite, then you see. Here we have our purl stitch, so we work a simple stitch. Here we have the simple stitch, so you will work a purl stitch. And just keep repeating this until you reach the end of your row. I'm here at the end of my row and again I will do the last stitch. Make sure you go through the two loops, grab the yarn and pull up. And now we will work the back row. Again, grab the yarn only through the first loop. This creates a nice border. And now grab the yarn and pull through two. All the way until you have one loop left. Pull through two, pull through two, all the way until you have one loop left. Pull through two, just like that. And now we will do just like we did in the previous row again. Check which stitch you see. The very first one we will skip. So here we can see it's a simple stitch, so we will work a purl stitch. The next one here is a purl stitch, so we will work a simple stitch. And this is all you have to do. I will repeat those two rows until I'm done with my scheme and I will show you how my scarf looks like. So just keep repeating those two rows, the back row and this row and I will see you back in just a moment. I just finished and now you can see the beautiful pattern even better. Look at those stitches 
and those colors. I'm so in love with this yarn. It's so, so soft. And what I really, really like is the black in the yarn. It makes this beautiful effect. And like I said, I just really, really love this yarn. This is how the color change looks like. It's so, so pretty. And now I will show you how to crochet the last row so you get a nice straight edge. So for the last row, we will do exactly like we did before. So here is a simple stitch. We will crochet a purl stitch. Now we have two loops on the hook and you will grab the yarn and pull through the first one. Here is a purl stitch, so I will crochet a simple stitch, grab the yarn, pull up, and pull through. Again, here is a simple stitch, so I do a purl stitch and pull through. And this is all you have to do, and this will create a beautiful straight edge to your scarf just like this. So just keep repeating this all the way until you reach your last stitch. So I'm here in my last stitch. Um, I will go into the border stitch right here, just like we did before. Grab the yarn, pull up and pull through. Now you will chain one, pull tight, and this is how much yarn I have left. I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter, just like this. Grab your hook, pull all the way through, pull tight, and now your work is all nice and secure. Now the only thing left, we just have to sew in the yarn ends, and if you want, you can attach some tassels. So I'm going to show you how to sew in your yarn end. To sew in the yarn end, you will grab your darning needle, pull it through, and this is our front side and this is the back side. And I'm going to hide my yarn end on the back side. I will go through some stitches like this. Just don't pull too, too tight. And now I will go in the opposite direction. Oops. Just with some stitches. Just like that. And if you want, you can create a little loop right here. You will pull the yarn through and pull tight. This creates a knot and now it's even more secure. I'll go here one more time. And now I can cut the yarn. And you will do exactly the same thing with the other yarn end. Now I will attach some tassels. So I'm going to uh, cut two strands roughly in the same length. Grab a crochet hook. The size doesn't matter, just that you can pull it through. And now you will insert in the stitch, just like this. Fold your um, strength in half. Pull through. Now we have a loop. Insert your fingers through, grab it, and pull through. And I'm going to do this all the, all the way along here. So I will show you again. Grab two strength of yarn, fold in half, and again, grab your crochet hook pull through, grab it, again, make a loop, make sure they're roughly the same length, grab 
the yarn and pull through. And at the end, I will just make them shorter so they have all the same length. And this is how I'm attaching my tassels. And we are done. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so, so much for watching. I can't wait to see your finished scarf. Have a great time crocheting and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.